Okay, this is my first uh, video, so bear with me a little bit. I want to show you the uh, bell siphon that I built for my trough. I had a, I, or I have, a four foot wide, 11 foot long trough that I am using to grow leafy greens. The problem that I, that I was having was that I didn't feel like I was getting enough um, oxygen. So I wanted to increase the oxygen available to my, um, my leafy greens. But I don't have enough power out at my uh, hoop house. So I watched a video from Bigelow Farms where well, you just saw my, my uh, siphon break. I watched the video from Bigelow and he was using a little cup at the end of his tube because he also had large uh, grow beds and the problem you run into with large grow beds is that they tend not to break if you have too much water going into them and, uh, and then if uh, I decreased the amount of water going in and then it was taking too long to fill back up. So I kind of modified his idea. I, you can see right here, I, I glued a little cup at the, at the very bottom of the tube. Now the tube just barely goes below the cup line, uh, probably just a couple of centimeters. And so what happens is that cup fills up. And then as the trough fills up, now you can see here, from the line right here that the trough fills up to about that mark and then it breaks right at that mark. So I only wanted to drop it a few inches just to expose the roots to the oxygen. So I put the cup at that level and then I used a, uh, I've got a one inch line at the bottom and then I increase it to two inches and this is a four inch uh, bell cover here. What ha so what happens is the water fills up comes in at the other end from my swirl filter and it fills up and then it creates a suction and then it'll pull down it'll fill up to about there it'll pull down a few inches and then as the water uh, the water will just barely get below the cup line and it keeps pulling water in through the tube and it creates a uh, gives it enough enough of, a, of oxygen enough air to break the siphon and then once it does that it fills back up and it's been working like a charm now for about a month or so now originally I had I had two lines and getting the second one to work in conjunction with the first was a bit harder to do, but it um, I was able to um, to get it to work also. One of them was always breaking a little sooner than the other, and so um, the re the way I got around that is that each one of them uses a bit different size right here and so and it you know one's taller than the other and so it takes a bit longer for the siphon to begin on the one that's a little taller so that one starts a little sooner but it still the uh, this one still has enough time to uh, to begin the siphon and then the first one breaks a little sooner and this one finishes the job off and then breaks when it's over. And then you, uh, I adjusted my inlet, which is at the other end over there, coming from my swirl filter, uh, so that enough water, so that it only takes a few minutes to fill my tray back up. That's given my, uh, my root, the plant roots a little longer little more oxygen I should say to um, to grow and it seems to be you know, it seems to have a positive effect on it I've got my trays here just 
sitting up on a PVC stand and that'll do it as you can see the roots seem to be doing okay uh, they get get exposed to some air a few inches of the roots get exposed to air and and then that alleviated uh, me having to put uh, another air pump like I said I don't have but a 15 amp circuit out here and I didn't this way I don't have to have a separate air pump just for the trough.